Mountains, where the tumbleweeds roll over the dry New Mexico plains, we found the Brass Cactus Bistro. It's a charming little place in Las Cruces, some 300 miles south of Las Vegas as the crow flies. But good enough that many of the regulars drive an hour or more to get here. It's not in the heart, it's not going to be on the plate. You know, and that's part of it. Chef Stephen Meeks brings a unique passion to his work. I think when you're traveling on the road, you know, you always have, you always have ability to um, get good wines, local wines from a particular area, good local cheeses from an area, uh, and unique maybe vegetables that are maybe from that area. Or like in, uh, if I was traveling to Oregon or Washington, they have great salmon, you know, I'd stock up on salmon, you know. And if uh, you're going into, uh, you know, um, Florida, of course, you have to have oranges, you know. So, you know, it's kind of unique. In this area, I would pack up, if I was traveling through, I'd pack up on green and red chili. In the Mesilla Valley, it's an extremely large agricultural area, so we're able to have a lot of the farmers grow especially herbs, especially vegetables, things like that for us as well, that chefs in other big cities can't. I think if you were going to stock up on something, I would get some New Mexico wines. Uh, there's uh, Jory out of Sierra County. There's also Lavinia Winery out of Chambrino, uh, Tex uh, Chambrino, New Mexico, which is only like 15 minutes from here in Las Cruces. We do a... Um, a halibut or a grilled tuna with an avocado grapefruit salsa since grapefruits are available in West Texas, you know, and avocados are local here. We do a lot like a coconut shrimp we do with the, we put the Thailand coconut milk in the batter with the coconut and uh, we fry the shrimp that we serve it with a papaya, mango and banana salsa with a Malaysian red dipping sauce. So you got kind of a sweet sour characteristic with fresh fruit and also the uh, texture of the crusted shrimp. It's really nice on the plate. Mmm, that kind of spread may be a little daunting for most of us, but there are often things you can do to your own specialties to bring them above and beyond the ordinary. Here's one of our signature desserts here in the restaurant. It's, we call it the flour to desert, and it's made with a chocolate mousse inside. It's made with fresh local strawberries and an English custard sauce. Now, if we want to give a little different characteristic, all we do is we can take at home a little bit chocolate syrup that we use in our ice cream or whatever when we're off, off work and relaxing watching TV and just make a little little line like this into the custard and then if we just take a small little knife and just run it through it gives it a whole different characteristic and design that kind of adds a little avant-garde look to it and that people kind of and they look at it and they say, wow, you know, that's really terrific, you know. And it's, so it's kind of, and they, they feel it's all of a sudden it went from bland to something, something really unique again. We'll do a black bean soup and we'll do a puree of, of red pepper and kind of make a swirl with a little bit fresh whipped cream in it just to give a little, little pizzazz to the soup, you know, just for a little color. People leave with the eyes first. For more tips from Stephen, check out our website where you'll find a feast for the eyes. It's a recipe for the chef's cinnamon roasted pork medallion.